Hey, what's up, Digital Warfare 24-7? It's Sneaky here, and I am one of the new sponsored uh, commentators. So, this I figured I'd use Black Ops as my introduction. Why not? I don't want to give you that old Modern Warfare 2. So, uh, today's November 5th. I got a Black Ops a couple days early. The servers just came online today. So, the gameplay is not the best. This is my first gameplay. The reason I'm using it is because I don't know if they're gonna when they're turning the servers off today. So I figured I'd just shoot the gameplay up and whatnot. So in the future, my gameplay will be a little bit better. I won't die as much. So, but it's not all about kill death in my opinion anyway. Because my goal is to entertain and educate. That's my little motto. So sometimes I can entertain and educate you from a gameplay where I go 17 and 11, and hopefully I can. So, because I mean, sometimes when you go, I don't know, like. 30 and 2, there's not much to teach because it's, I mean, maybe your kill streaks did the work or, you know, whatever it is. So, this is just, uh, the, f the first gameplay. So, I hope you enjoy the gameplay just because you've never seen, well, you've seen it. I mean, Black Ops was leaked everywhere, but you haven't seen much Black Ops footage. And right here, I just, I don't know what happened. The hit detection and stuff isn't that great because the servers just came online when I started. This is only my second match. So, the servers are just started coming online. So, the hit detection wasn't good. The connection wasn't really that great. But it was still a blast. Some things to look out for if you're getting Black Ops and haven't played it yet and you're watching this video. Or if you're debating whether to get this game. Here's some things to think about. One, the M16 is a very strong weapon, once again, in the Call of Duty series. It has low recoil and it puts people down pretty quick. One to two bursts, depending on how many bullets you hit them with. Like, you know, how many bursts you get on target. So if you shoot one burst, that's three rounds. If you get all three rounds on target in the upper area, he's dead. But the fact that it doesn't have much recoil is definitely, uh, you know, it's a it's not. I don't want to say drawback, but it does. It's annoying for some people just because it's it's overpowered in a sense. Um, the MP5K is a very strong submachine gun. So when you start out the game, your custom or the you know classes that come there. I don't know what they're called. Just the classes that you get with the game. The ones that you can use. Default classes. There we go. With the default classes, there's M16 class and an MP5 class. I suggest only using those two classes. Do not use the LMG or the sniper rifle if you want to just try and get familiar with the game. Because they're very hard to... They're very difficult to use. So, I recommend sticking to either this or the MP5K class. And you'll be pretty set to just get used to it and you can go from there and whatnot. Um, and this is what I'm using the default M16 class right here. So, what did I want to talk about today? Oh, well, another thing you want to watch out for is Second Chance. It, I predicted it before the game came out, and now I'm getting annoyed with it already. But it is frustrating. If you don't know what Second Chance is, it's when you die or you kill someone, and they just go, they get like a second chance at living, and they go to a sitting position and pull out their pistol. And you might see it a few times during this match. And it's just frustrating as heck. So, watch out for it, because sometimes you might think you killed someone. Right here, this is a second chance. I'm just chilling here with my pistol and whatnot, and blah, blah, blah. So, watch out for it, because it can be annoying when you're trying to kill someone. You drop them, and you're like, okay, well, I killed them, so they shouldn't get a second chance. It's like, you got clearly outplayed, so just die. Um, so, be careful of that. And the knifing range is probably the last thing I'd say to be careful of because that's frustrating as well. It almost feels like commando sometimes. So, knifing second chance, M16. Well, knifing and second chance are detriments to this game. And M16 and MP5 default classes are the ones you want to hit up first. And if you want to know more about like the maps and stuff, because that's a key component to any new game, is if you want to know more about the maps, then... Come check out my channel. I have 14 map walkthroughs that will be up today because, well, when you're watching this, it'll be the 9th. And I'll have 14 map walkthroughs on my channel. So if you want to go check those out, and that might help you out. There's a second chance, dude. Wow. But if you want to check those out and get to a little bit more familiar with the maps, then feel free to because I'm putting those up there to help you guys, you know, become better players and whatnot. And I hope it does help. Um, a unique thing about me, since I've never uploaded this channel, and you guys don't know me, is that I reply to all comments and private messages, so if you do want to get in touch with me or something, feel free to s just leave a comment or send me a private message, and I always respond to it. And as far as comments go, it's harder to comment every comment on another channel because I don't get notified, 
but I do I do a really good job when I post machine on my videos. I reply to every comment. People are like amazed. They're like, whoa. So you can go ahead and test me and drop a comment right now and drop another one at the end of the video or whatnot. And you know, you can just give me your thoughts and ask questions, and I'll be sure to answer them and try and help you out the best I can. So right here at this point in the game, I decided I need to play a little more defensive because I was running around. I'm playing with a bunch of random guys, which I never do. I'm so used to playing with a full party. So playing with these random guys, they don't listen, and they were pushing spawns, and the spawns were flipping everywhere. And So I had to start playing defensively and playing smart, and that's what got my kill death positive. I start building my kill streaks up a tiny bit right here. So be careful of that too. If you're going to start playing the first time, Go in a mercenary team deathmatch, first of all, because you don't want to play against the party for your first few games. And, because, I mean, if you play a regular team deathmatch, the likelihood of you getting in a, into a game with someone else that's in a party is very high. Because that's what everyone's going to hit the first day. So, hit up some mercenary team deathmatch or free-for-all, and just focus on that, and you should be, you know, you should be pretty good to go off the beginning. And, you know, check out my channel. I'll be uploading tips as the game goes on, and... I'll have about five commentaries on my channel with tips and one video of my first impressions from my first game. So I hope you enjoyed this commentary and my future commentaries won't be like this. This is just kind of, you know, first impressions, introduction, getting to, you guys getting to know me and stuff because I've never uploaded here before. So I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to leave a comment and I will reply to it because that's what I set out to do, all right? Final score 17 and 11, 1.56 kill deaths. You see how it shows? That's pretty sweet. But, um, yeah. Look at that. Commando. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Leave a comment. Peace.